What's up guys, CO here with another showdown live. Uh, this week we are doing something completely new. I am diving down into Little Cup for the first time. Um, I literally have never played Little Cup in my life before um, building this team and preparing for the ladder. Um, it actually seems to be doing pretty well, but I'm not sure if it's just because I'm playing low ladder or if it's actually doing well. So I'm up to like 1200 or so, which isn't really great or whatever, but I mean, seeing as how I never played before, I guess it's okay. Um, so first off, I'm using Lifeguard, or Life Orb, Magic Guard, Abra, um, Kadabra, Alakazam, and Mega Alakazam are all amazing, so <laughs> why wouldn't Abra be, I guess. Uh, base 105 Special Attack and 90 Speed is kind of ridiculous for a Little Cup, actually. Um, and if you're wondering what these EVs are, it's basically trying to max out my speed and special, um, and basically just trying to give me as much as possible for the rest. Uh, something I kind of want to point out is that the jumps in EVs are kind of ridiculous, like I have to invest 80 full EVs to be able to go up a point. <laughs> um, that's a little cut for you. We're playing a level 5, so it takes a while to get going. Um, one of the cool things about playing at level 5, um, by the way, of course I'm using Mudbray. Um, uh, one of the cool things about being level 5 is that even though uh, my base speed for Mudbray is half the spe speed of Abra, I'm only four points behind, um, so that means a choice scarf actually means that I can actually even outspeed stuff like Abra and the fastest stuff in the tier that's unboosted um, with a Mudbray, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so stamina is an awesome ability that I've gone over a couple of times on the channel because I used uh, Mudsdale in the Yellow and Kahuna tournament. I'm pretty sure I actually used this exact set at one point, um, but I have a choice scarf because Little Cup. Uh, next up, Dad's Jr. Uh, Water Absorb, Volt Switch, Scald, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, again a kind of standard set. Uh, Air Balloon's there because there's lots of ground types that like to kind of just switch in um, and do stuff. <laughs> so I like to have an Air Balloon because at least for a while I can at least switch into um, Water type attacks and Volt Switch out. Um, keep the Air Balloon in intact because I'm actually kind of like naturally pretty fast. Um, and yeah, hopefully I don't run into <laughs> any more uh, whoopers because that sucked. Next up, uh, I looked up the viability rankings for Little Cup after I built this team, and apparently Chimchar is like complete ass. <laughs> like it's in like the specifically recommended do not use like list. Um, I actually found that a Violite defensive Chimchar has been doing somewhat well for me at least. Um, it's not the greatest, and it kind of ends up being fodder, like the fodder of the team at least um, most of the time. But it is a pretty decent stealth rocker in my opinion. Um, at least for what I'm using it for. Um, I can slack off to pretty ha or pretty reliably have recovery, um, and Fire Punch and Thunder Punch both kind of beat the defoggers and some of the rapid spinners and stuff that I'll see on the team. Um, it's mainly just to pop sturdies and stuff because there's lots of sturdy running around. Uh, next up is one of the MVPs of this team actually um, in practice. Um, this little deerling has been putting in quite a lot of work. Uh, between Silk Scarf boosted return, uh, Silk Scarf if you don't know just boosts normal type attacks by 1.2. Uh, Silk Scarf return stab is a ton of damage, um, especially since Deerling actually has like decent-ish attack for Little Cup, um, and agility just allows me to pretty much outspeed anything and a lot of Choice Scarfers too. Um, and between Seed Bomb, Jump Kick, and Return, I actually have pretty much decent coverage against everything. Um, I think the only thing I can't reliably hit is Ghastly, because it resists this and is immune to both of these. Um, but I have other stuff on the team for Ghastly, kind of. Um, Ghastly is actually sort of a problem, if I'm being honest, but it's okay. Um, we'll just try to play around it, I guess. Um, and finally, we have a Choice Scarf Wingle, um, Mini Nerd 92, I guess. Um, again, kind of like with Mudsdale, or Mudbray, I kind of ran um, this exact set actually in the Alolan Kahuna tournament when I had a Pelipper. Um, only difference is it's a Wingle now, and Hurricane is always going to be 70% accurate unless I run into a rain team, which would be pretty weird because there's no automatic rain setters in Little Cup. Um, so, with that said, let's just go ahead and try to find a battle. Um, I'm probably going to edit out um, after the first battle. Um, I'm probably going to edit out the waits in between times because it kind of does take a little while to get a battle sometimes. Um, I guess I'll actually just go ahead and do it now if it's going to take a lot longer, so I will be right back when there's a battle. JK. I ended that sentence and then there was a battle, <laughs> which is what I thought was going to happen, but whatever. Um, 
So he doesn't, he has a ground type, um, it's Onyx. It's the one big thing in Little Cup. By the way, people in Little Cup are very nice, I've noticed. There's a lot more people willing to actually say GLHF. Um, I'm still gonna lead Chin Chow, because Chin Chow beats Onyx one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he could lead Onyx to South Rock, he could lead Vulpix to get Tail. Um, didn't really expect him to lead Grimer right away. Um... Wow, you actually speed tie with me if you're max speed. Um... Let's full switch. Okay. So, you just go for a poison jab, probably, because I don't have a resist to that, except but Bray. You don't have anything off the ground, so I can just go... Oh, you do have something off the ground. I forget Rowlet's a flying type. Um, I expected that, but that's okay. I think I'm actually going to go for the rock slide. Yeah. I'm up higher on the water now, so I gotta start making some predictions. <laughs> so, good news is, he doesn't know I'm Scarfed yet because he's switched, so I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide again, because I'm gonna outspeed, unless he's also Scarfed. No, even if he is, I outspeed. Ooh! Reading the Scarf, nice. Um, Berry Juice activated, so I, I am going to GTFO, because I can no longer stay in. So, what am I gonna do? You are Poison Dark, okay. I couldn't remember if you got the Dark type on Evolving or if you always had it. Um, so this is actually the first Alolan Grimer I've played up against, um, but it's kind of an issue. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't get Poisoned. Um, I think I want to get Rocks up. He could have Defog on that Rowlet. But I might be able to... Yeah, rocks seem pretty important because it's going to do super effective damage to Vulpix and Rowlet. And it's going to break the Sturdy on Onyx. So he's probably going to kill me here. Yeah. Um, okay, so... How much did the first Poison Jab do? 25. That seems like a little cup roll to me. Little cup rolls are fucking ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> um, so, I might actually... No, because then I won't have anything for Onyx. No, I'll have Deerling. Okay, I think I'm going to go Chin Chow here and try to hit him on the Spideff side since he's obviously buried Juice and not like an Assault Vest or something. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight for a Thunderbolt, actually. Okay, I was hoping it'd be a two-hit KO, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt again, so he can't switch into. No, I don't think he's gonna switch into Rowlet. Let's go for a Skull and try to get a burn on this thing. Oh, get Shadow Sneak. Okay. Okay, so this is basically just a <laughs> full on Alolan Buck as an Alolan Grammar. Um. Jump kick kill from here. Wait, what am I saying? Return will. Okay. Sorry, I had to think about that for a while, but return's absolutely gonna kill from here. And I know he doesn't have anything to stop it. Yeah. Um, and I should outspeed Rowlet, unless it's a choice scarf Rowlet for some reason. Um, he may think I'm scarfed on this, but <laughs> I am scarfed technically, actually, um, but it's not the scarf he's used to. So I'm just gonna go for a return again and kill this before I can defog, because I want those rocks to stay up. He goes Stuffle now, and something has to die. <laughs> I think it's gonna be Mudbray, unfortunately, because I need Abra for the Stuffle and his own Abra. His own Abra is actually gonna be an issue. Oh, please just get rid of your Z-move now. Okay, good. I'm okay with that. I was sacking Mudbray anyway. Um, so I'll go Wingle now. Um, please land. Yes! Good job, Wingle. Good job, nerd. You picked a good logo. Mascot is what I meant to say. 
All right, so Aberzan. Um, I don't really trust my luck to hit two hurricanes, but I'm gonna go for it. I hit two hurricanes in a row. Wow. God damn. All right, so I can go my own Abra now. Um, worst case scenario, this is the speed tie, I guess. Um, and I won, so that's nice. Um, both his things don't really like switching into rocks here. I need to get this out of the way, though. Um, DT. Alolan Vulpix. Your defense is worse. You die. Cool. So it looks like Gabber's gonna clean up here. Uh, cause I have energy ball for this too. And rocks break sturdy, which is nice. Put out the GG, cause it was a GG. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab another, and I will be right back. Pretty interesting team, actually. Um... I really like this guy's team, actually. Um, he has a ground type, so volt switching is probably not the best idea, although I probably can, honestly. Um, he's probably either gonna lead that golet to set up rocks, or potentially the chestbin to set up spikes. Um, he could also lead the elekid to try to volt switch. And I guess if he wanted to be super aggressive, he could lead Oddish in Sunny Day Turn 1. <laughs> Um, so Chimchar actually looks like a fairly decent lead. If he leads Gullet, I'll just go ahead and switch from there. See, this is what I'm talking about. Little Cup people are fucking amazing. Like, like literally every battle I've had in Little Cup, I would wish the GLHF, and I feel like when I do that, no, you half the time I just get shit talked. <laughs> um, and the other time, the other half of the time it goes well, I guess. Um, he should go for Earthquake here. Oh, he just sets rocks. That's fine. Uh, I'll just Scald. Because he doesn't really... He has an Oddish, I guess. But I'll just Volt Switch out against that. Oh, yeah, Chespin resists too. Although I didn't think he was going to go Chespin, because if it gets burned, which it didn't, because it's never going to burn when I need it to. Um, do I... I might... Ooh, he about speed me. That's an issue. Um, do you take a wood hammer or whatever this chestman's gonna go for? I'm assuming a grass type attack because you're a pure grass type. Sea bomb? Yeah, you take it. Okay. Um, how important are rocks this game? Kind of important, but not really. Could go for a fire punch, but I think it's safer to go for a slack off. Get back up to full, because I'm going to need this Chimchar for a little bit, I think. Um, I'll go back into Chinchow here, hopefully take the water type attack. There we go. Um, I'm actually going to go for a skull to my own, predicting his gullet. Or maybe getting a burn? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Going straight for that then. Um, just bolt switch out. Should have probably just thunderbolted, I guess. Um, yeah, cause I, don't, <laughs> I don't really have anything to bolt switch into. I didn't really think about that. I should have just stayed in. Um, so, best bet. He's not going for a Scald, so he's probably going for like a Psychic. I guess my best bet is just go straight into Abra. And Shadow Ball this thing back. Okay. He doesn't have a normal type, so Shadow Ball's fine. Cool. Alright, so I kind of rushed that play, but after I thought about it, it looked like it kind of came out a little bit better. Um, whew, 20 speed is ridiculous. Um, so he knows I'm Water Absorb and not Volt Absorb. Um, but I kind of still want to go Chinchow. Is that weird? Yeah, it is, because I still have my Air Balloon. Um, so it's predictable, but I'm going to go Mudbray here. Um, I don't think he's going to Volt Switch, but if he does, cool. 
No, he did just go for a Thunderbolt. Okay. Um, he probably not going to expect me to be a Choice Garfed, but he switches out anyway. Um, you're going to resist. Okay. So I think this is actually a decent opportunity for me to go into Deerling. Does grass resist grass? Yes, right? I think so. Maybe. Yes? Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, well, in that case, let's just go for a return then. Uh, I got outplayed there, and that's okay. Um... Oof, those little cup rolls. 45 to 55. Um, so the spikes suck, because that means this deer link's dead when it switches back in. Um, so I guess I'm just going to go for a return anyway. He's probably just going to both switch out, but that's fine. Um, I want the momentum. So please give momentum. Now, I have never played a Swablu before, so I have no idea what it's actually going to do. Do what ability does Elekid have? Vi static and Vital Spirit? Okay. So I should be able to just Volt Switch out, right? Yeah, because if he goes Gullet, I'll just Scald it. Um, I don't really have a better play than this anyway. I want to weaken it before I try to go for a sweep with Mudbray, probably. Um, this is feeling to me like a Mudbray or Wingle game, cleaning up, so I gotta kind of play accordingly. Um, let's Volt Switch here, see what this thing wants to do. He did, does just go Oddish. So I think I'm just gonna go Chimchar, because Chimchar's not really doing very much beyond scaring out this Oddish anyway. Um, I mainly just don't want this thing to set up a sunny day, so I'm just gonna go for a Fire Punch, even if it's predictable, whatever. Whew. That was a big hit, though. Do I outspeed? Um, potentially. I'm going to try to make an educated guess here and say that he is Stealth Rock. So, since he's Stealth Rock, he's probably more defensive, which probably means he doesn't have enough, outs enough speed investment, because that's kind of a lot of speed investment. Um, so I'm just going to Fire Punch again. Cool. A little Chimchar getting a kill. Bobbing back and forth. Um, I think now is the time where I go into Mudbray. Because I still kind of want to keep Chimchar around. And I don't really want to Volt Switching. Alright. Um, I don't think I've actually shown him Scarf yet. Let's do this. So, Sash is okay, um, because I'll be able to resist with... Actually, no, I don't even need to resist. I just go Wingle here. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm Scarf. But now I'm paralyzed, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so I have a new fodder, which is nice. Um... I think I just go Abra here, because it's able to hit both these things. Um, and I think I just go for a Psy Shock. I don't really actually have anything to hit this. Oh wait, it's normal flying, so I can't Volt Switch. Um, I kinda wanna keep Abra actually, so let's just go into Chin Chow and see what the Swablu wants to do. Okay. So I'm probably gonna die here. But that's okay. Um I forgot that um I forgot that I had the air balloon which protects me from spikes, so I could have actually been switching in a little bit more than I realized. Um but that's okay. Um I should be able to survive a switch in here. Yes. 
cool. I should be able to survive one. Barely. Um, and go for a Thunderbolt. I mean, it was a good play to switch into Oddish, because there's not really very much I can do now. I'm going to Thunder Wave in case this thing is Sunny Day, because that's the only thing that beats me at this point, I think. Moonblast? Okay. <laughs> um, sure. So I should be able to slack off here? I don't think there's anything Oddish can do to me. Yeah, that's not doing anything. And Stealth Rock, so Swablu can't come in. Swablu's dead. And I should just be able to Fire Punch this thing and kill it. Look at Chimchar cleaning up this game. Bop. Well, I guess Abra technically cleaning up this game, but Chimchar did all the work there, so. <laughs> Boop. Unless he's Scarf, I guess. Either way, it's a GG because the game's over this turn, but... <laughs> Alright, so... See, that's what I'm talking about. Little Cut people are amazing. So, I'm gonna find another one really quick. I'll be right back. All right, we're back with another interesting team, actually. Um, if you haven't been down in Little Cup, uh, this is actually one of the reasons why I'm starting to like really, really like this tier. Um, I have not faced, like I think, a single same Pokemon in these three battles, let alone like a similar team, um, which I feel like is kind of ridiculous even in higher tiers, like even in like RU and stuff. Um, so it's kind of cool that it works out so well. So he doesn't have a Volt Switch immunity, so I'm probably going to lead Chen Chao. Um, I don't like that Mianfu, so I might actually lead... Mm... No, I'm gonna lead Chen Chao, and if he leads Mianfu, I'll just double into Mudbray. That sounds like a better plan. G-L-H-A-F. Fake out's coming, so let's just get a plus one. He has nothing off the ground, so, um... That crit sucks, by the way, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, he has nothing off the ground, and he has a ghost type, so I can't just close combat, damn. Um, I'll just go for an earthquake. So now I'm up to plus two. Um, I can see Jellicent coming in, but I don't really care. Yeah, I'd rather have Apom gone, because um, Apom can be really annoying fake out. Skaroopy comes in. But I'm Scarf. And you're not gonna do anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> you had Aqua Tail, so that's fine. Um, so you're not Scarf, which means I can just go Wingle. Scald should probably kill. I would imagine Scald kills, okay. Um, and it's at this time that I wish I had a Volt Switch switch in, but I don't. So, I'm instead gonna play around it with Deerling. Because I know this thing's gonna be that annoying Sturdy Berry Juice set. Um, and he's probably just gonna go into Fennekin right here. But that is fine. Oh, he goes Mianfu, um, which is not as fine. Because <laughs> I don't really have anything for Mianfu. So it's time to break down what dies here. Um, Chimchar, I would like to get the rocks up to break sturdy. So Chimchar is important. Wingle only hits Fennekin. Scarf also outspeeds and hits Bianfu, so that's important. Is Abra my most expendable? No, because Abra can kill Bianfu too. Um, so let's just go Wingle and hope that he just fake out instead of high jump kicks. If he high jump kicks, this thing's beyond dead, but whatever. Okay, cool. Drain Punch, I can actually live. Um, there we might as well go for Hurricane. Good, get this thing. 
very far away from me. Also, three for three on hurricanes this live so far is kind of amazing. Um, I have no need for this. So let's sack it and get the volt switch momentum. And also break that because now I don't necessarily need rocks as much because um, he has his berry juice but he doesn't have sturdy which is pretty much perfect um, I'm just gonna go chin chow and volt switch out um, I can actually thunderbolt I guess there's no reason for me not to I was gonna say he's gonna try to pop my balloon but he doesn't really have a reason to <laughs> like he doesn't have a ground type so it's not like the balloon was really doing anything uh, Frillish being gone means that I can jump kick now, kind of with impunity, actually. Um, I can stay in and take a volt switch at neutral and volt switch in return, which kind of sounds nice. So let's do that. I'm just trying to keep this thing above berry juice range, so I didn't want to do too much damage, but I do want to get to the point where Chip will like guaranteed take it out. Z power, what are you? Corkscrew crash, which I resist, which is perfect. Not really sure what you were trying to hit with corkscrew crash. Well, let's get these stealth rocks up so you guaranteed do not get back up to berry juice. <laughs> um, I can just go back out to Chin Chow here. I'm not really sure what you're going to go for, but I can go back out to Chin Chow. Um, I'll just go for a volt switch and sack off Chimchar. Yeah. You did good work, buddy. Stoli Violate, which is kind of an issue now. Okay. Um, you are 16 speed, but I am 17 speed. Little Deerling. Please kill. Yes! Good job, dearling. Wait, I shouldn't celebrate yet. You need to land a jump kick first. Please land. Thank you. It's 95% accurate, but I have missed plenty while testing, so <laughs> I am not taking that 95% for granted. Um, so this has been a pretty fun live so far. Oh, that game was immediate. Cool. All right, so this is a very threatening team. Um, that middle core is like full of like all of the top tier stuff. Um, does Surskit get, get Intimidate? I don't think it does. I think it's Water Absorb, if I remember right. It's this one. Okay, so it's webs, I guess. <laughs> um, kind of an issue, but also kind of not, I guess. Um, what do I do against webs? I guess I volt switch out and keep my air balloon and kill it and defog because I forgot I had that. Okay. pretty easily scare this out. But I don't defog because he has a pawn yard, so I go for U-turn instead. Because that gets me momentum anyway, and allows me to see how he plays. Okay, so he's not going to switch into the pawn yard for some reason. I don't know why he didn't switch into the pawn yard, but he's not going to. Um, so I go Mudbray, what does he do? Go Abra? I don't want that. So if I go Abra, he lead he goes Pawnyard, most likely. Maybe Ghastly, which neither of those things that I want. Um, if I go Chimchar, he goes Mianfu. That seems like the best option. Um, I could keep up the volt switching, but I don't 
necessarily need to right now, I guess. Um, so I'm going to potentially try to get rocks up, um, depending on what, yeah. Um, I should be able to... I feel like I'm able to live a high jump kick. That may be wrong, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I'm probably not able to live a high jump kick, but we're going to find out together. Poor Chimchar. I'm sorry for overestimating you, little buddy. Um, so I'm just going to go for the hurricane now. It may be obvious, but whatever. This is my only defense against Mianfu. Um, if he switches out, good play. Uh, but most people don't see the Scarf Wingle coming. Scarf Wingle continues to land every single one of his hurricanes, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, so, knockoff is coming. And it's coming. And there's nothing I really want <laughs> knocked off. Um, I guess the air balloon is the most useless. Oh, he's just setting up more hazards. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for a thunder wave. I live on one. Uh, pseudo focus sash for the win, I guess. Um, so now I probably outspeed, but I might as well just let this thing drop. So let's just go for a thunderbolt to do damage. Oh, he goes sucker punch. Okay. Fair enough. Um. So, as much as I want to defog, this thing is 99.999% likely to just be defiant. Um, so, let's just go... Hmm... I think I have to go mud right here, even though I don't particularly want to. Um... And I think I have to go... <laughs> How is this little horse more heavy than, like, a dark steel type? <laughs> oh, that's just funny to me. Um, so, if I Earthquake and he gets into Ghastly for free, what the hell do I do? I lose, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I have to go for Rock Slide. He stayed in? Why did he stay in? <laughs> I feel like the Earthquake was extremely obvious, so now I lose. Um, it was a good play on his part to stay in, I guess. Um, I overpredicted. I didn't think he had any reason to stay in whatsoever. Now he's going to switch? Okay. Well, this guy's just all up in my head then. I personally did not think he had any reason whatsoever to stay in there. Um, even... If I wasn't scarfed, I would have outsped under sticky webs, I think, because he was paralyzed. Um, and I'm obviously like a max speed mudbray. <laughs> um, I guess he was just chancing that I wasn't, but I don't know why you go for knockoff anyway. Um, I'm going to stay in and just go for a rock sled, I guess. I probably lost this game, and that's okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to get rocks up because Chimchar is dead. Um, my potential win here, I guess, is to weaken Ghastly enough and set up on a Bisharp Sucker Punch or a Para. I need to set up an agility and then be able to just kind of run through. Um, so let's go for a Scald here, because I need the guaranteed damage. Um, I'd like to defog, and if I get a switch in again, I may defog, but I'm just going to go for the Scald here. Um, I need him to think I'm just offensive um, before I can feel safe going for a Scald with Ponyard still out. Um, and Scald should two-hit KO. Um, I'll stay in. Oh, cool. That works too. Um, so, now I should be able to go Abra. I think I lose still anyway. Because <laughs> he's just going to Shadow Ball here. Um, so, 
So I guess my only hope is to be able to live with Deerling. Oh, Destiny Bond. I'm actually somewhat okay with that, I guess. Um, like, it's not ideal, but I actually at least get a chance here. Um, probably not, actually. Um, this thing's probably just going to obliterate me here. But if I live, somehow I should be able to... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I kind of forgot about picking pack the entire time. I don't know if you noticed, but I did not say a single thing about it. That guy's pretty high on the ladder, so I guess I don't really feel too bad about losing to him. Um, but I kind of forgot about picking pack the entire time I was talking about that. Um, sweep. I don't know what I thought I was going to set up on, but I guess I thought I was going to learn in Ponyard somehow. Um, but that's okay. Um, we'll get another battle really quick. Um, this has still been a pretty fun live. I feel like most of the members are pulling up their weight so far. Um, I can't really think of anything that hasn't, I guess. <laughs> uh, what's, what are we looking at for time, actually? Okay. So I'll grab a couple more battles, I guess. Alright, we're back against Mr. Feeny. Uh, boy meets world, I guess. Hey, lover boy. Okay, I'll just pretend like that didn't happen. He has a kind of cool team, though. Um... I don't really have a great lead this game, but Chin Chao is going to do a ton if I get rid of some of the faster stuff. So I kind of want to keep Chim Chao, or Chin Chao safer than I normally do. Um, let's actually... Let's predict his drill lead and lead Deerling. I've never led Deerling before, um, so let's hope this doesn't come back to bite me. Uh, it came back to bite me, because he just led Ghastly, because he saw that I have no switch-ins for it. <laughs> um, so let's go Chimchar, because that is my spit-f wall, apparently. Let's see how well it takes this. Not is the answer to that question. Um, do rocks really help? Not particularly, so let's just go for a fire punch. I should at least be able to take another sludge bomb if he decides to stay in. And I could potentially get a burn. <laughs> Not likely, but it's possible. Um, so, this is where Chimchar meets his fate, sadly. Because uh, I am about to get obliterated by this. Um, I may just go for a Thunder Punch, actually, because I don't think... Rock resists electric. Oh, okay. Um, not really sure what he's gonna do here, but I'm pretty sure I can just go for rocks. He's just gonna keep switching. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep <laughs> getting my rocks. Um, I might as well slack off, get up to full, and let him do recoil. Oh, he outspeeds anyway. Okay. Does that mean he's Choice Scarf? Uh, it doesn't really matter because I am Choice Scarf too. one-handed. <laughs> I have to hold the microphone with the other one because the stand's not really working. Um, do I want to get damage off on this? It could potentially be scarfed, I guess. Um, but I need damage on this, so let's just go for a scald. Um, I just wanted to potentially break a sash so I can go into my own Abra and go for a Shadow Ball. Because at worst it's a speed tie. At best I get rid of a very threatening Mon. I'm really gonna wish this. If you are, I did not say that sentence right. Um, I'm recording this after a day of work where I had to talk a lot. So my words have been pretty far off most of the day. Um, he was not willing to risk that speed tie, which means his Growlithe probably drops with a 2 KO. Yeah. Um, I, however, am, so goodbye, Growlithe. Um, 
If I can just get rid of that damn ghastly, I may be in business. Um, are you Scarf Danareth? Scarf Danareth? I guess so. It is 18 speed. That's actually a pretty good speed tier for this. Um, I don't trust you not to be Scarf Danareth. And I would rather lose Mudbray on some ridiculous Z move or something. He just goes for a knockoff. I guess that's okay. Um, he still could be Scarf Knockoff, I guess. And this is actually probably better for me because I can mix up moves now. Um, and this heavy slam is about to do a fuck ton. <laughs> yeah, that ghastly just dropped. Because this is a heavy ass horse for no reason. Um, so, I think Mud Bray's probably going to drop here. <sighs> if he would have just ever gone into Drill Bear, I might have been able to set up with Deerling, but he hasn't really given me that opportunity yet. Um, do I need Mudbray as a switch into Anorith? Kind of. I guess I don't really need Chin Chow as much as I did before, because two of the four things it kills are dead at least. Um, so I know that looked like a terrible prediction, but I decided to sack off Chin Chow anyway, um, just because it was the least useful thing. And it allows me to either go straight back into Abra or just go straight into Deerling, which I think I'm going to do. I'll just go for game here because um, I still have the important things in the back if I need them. Um, he may think I'm scarfed here. And again, I made this joke earlier. I am scarfed, but it's a different scarf. Um, and I don't think he has priority on this team. So Return should be able to clean up this. I should be able to jump kick that and then I should be able to uh, either return or yeah or that so good job dearling are you just ground yeah so return should kill because um, of that silk scarf that crit didn't matter <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and grab another. So I really f think that every single member of this team has put in work this live, which is kind of exciting. Um, I really like when my lives actually have the full six members of the team doing stuff, because, I don't know, I feel like when people make uh, Showdown Live sometimes, they like try way too hard to focus on like one Pokemon and then just stack it with like five really other good things. <laughs> um, and obviously Mudbray and Chin Chow and Abra are all very good and Little Cup, but um, all this other stuff was apparently like pretty slept on for the Little Cup tiers, and it seems to all kind of be doing work, so just goes to show you that I guess uh, um, you can build stuff with weaker Pokemon as like the basis of it, um, at least in Little Cup. It's a little bit harder to do it in higher tiers because the, uh, the base stat differences kind of matter a lot more. Um, and again, like I've been saying all live, um, I don't think I've even come close to playing a similar looking team, um, in any of these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is Water Absorb, just because he has a Bunnelby. Um, he, I guess it could also be Volt Absorb and he could just have two ground immunities. That Chin Chow is well supported on his team. Um, so he can probably just lead Pancham and Parting Shot. Um, kind of want to lead Mudbray? He has these two. No, he has three things. I can't lead Mudbray. I might be able to lead Chimchar. And then just double. Um, if it's something that doesn't match up well. Which is good, because it's a Clink. Clink's not staying in. So I can get rocks up. I'm pretty sure I'm high enough on the ladder where people switch out. Yeah. <laughs> um, he could go for defog here, but it, he also possibly just switched it in to go for the scald. Um, I guess I want to see his set a little bit more, but I also don't really... No, I can afford this, I think. Because losing my immunity to Bunnelby could suck, but yeah, I figured he was just going to go for defog. 
and it just occurred to me now that he actually isn't a ground type on Bunnelby, I think. <laughs> um, I think it's just a normal. Is this a Sash? No, it's just dead. Okay. Um, so I can just go back out to Chimchar here, I think, and threaten to set up rocks again, force him into Chinchow, and then go back into my own Chinchow. Um, goes Bunnelby, which is not the mod I expected him to go into. Um, let's go Mudbray. I don't know what you're going to do, so... Oh, you're just going straight for a bulk up. Okay. Um, well, I will close combat the fuck out of you. I don't care if you go... Okay, yeah. Not playing around with a bulk up, a uh, huge power, Bunnelby. Um, you can very easily go whatever you want now, but that was a threat, and I needed to get it out as soon as possible. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do in response to this. Because I cannot touch you with a lot of things on my team. I think I'm just going to go hard Chimchar. Yep. I don't see a reason not to. Yep. Um, I guess I could just get rocks up. They're not really as important as they were before, but they can't... Well, yeah, they'll still help. No. Let's double into Mud right here, because he's going Chinchou. Oh, that works too. <laughs> um, do I just slam? I probably just slam. That seems like good, decent damage. Kill me off now. Or burn me, I guess, if you really want to. I feel like I could have just went right back into Chinchar and just kept this going, but whatever. Um, I'll just heavy slam again. You get pain split? I don't remember. Okay. This pumpkin is like not actually doing anything, so let's just go ahead and kill it off, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't. That, that just seems like a very big waste of time. You're sashed, and now you're almost dead. Um, I'll just go for Thunder Punch now because I want to kind of see what this Chimchar or this Chinchow is. I don't really like that it's just been sitting in the back this whole time. Um, I'm assuming Clank is shift gear, so I need to keep Chimchar alive. Um, Chinchow comes in now, and my switch to it is Deerling, I think. Yeah, because I need to... Well, no, I could go Abra on his Volt switch, sack Abra, and then go Deerling. I like that play more. So if he just isn't Thunder Wave right away. Goes for Aqua Ring. Okay. Uh, Sci Shock. Because you're probably Spit F. And I'm trying to lure in that Pancham. <laughs> so please go Pancham. Or just let the Chin Chow drop. That's fine too. Uh. Don't misclick, please. Forfeited. Alright, so that was a nice, basically a 6 0. It was gonna be, I think, um, further proving that this team is awesome. And again, a completely different team because Little Cup is amazing. Uh, so, this is the first speed boost Torchic we've played. Um, I actually have another team that has a pretty interesting uh, counter to speed boost Torchic. Um, I might record the live for that tonight, depending on how late my girlfriend is staying out with her coworkers. Um, but he has no Volt Switch switch, so let's just lead Chincho. Um, I'm gonna go for the Scald, because I don't like this thing. It's kind of a dick to my team. I would like a burn, but because I would like a burn, I'm not gonna get one, but that's okay. Um... I'll just Volt Switch now. No. I learned my lesson. 
This link very well could have Shadow Sneak. Does Deer Link do enough for me that I need to keep it around? Not really, so I can afford to do this. Okay. So let's just go for the return now, because I think he'll think he can kill, but he can, because he's bulky. Okay, good to know. Um, so I can now go Mud Bray and Heavy Slam, I think. Yeah, that seems fine, because if he Shadow Sneaks, I get plus one defense, and that's alright, because it forces him into Ghastly, which is not alright, but we've already established that I have no switch in for Ghastly, really. <laughs> Unless he just goes straight into it, because people seem to be doing that more lately. Um, I don't know why people just keep going right into Ghastly instead of just sacking off their stuff. Um, I don't have a switch into Ghastly. <laughs> I have a switch into this, even if it's going to go to sleep now, because the Spore... Um, that's fine. I still have a switch into it. Um, I predict you to go Torchic here, so I'm gonna go Chin Chow. Because I don't need it as much as... I need Wingle, because I don't really have very much for that Timber, otherwise. Just goes hard Sludge Bomb, okay. Um... So let's just go Wingle now. He doesn't actually have a hurricane switch in. This little Wingle is just trying so hard to be the MVP of this team. Trying to show off for nerd, are you? I can't believe this. This is like a cheat code or something. <laughs> I, I swear, I've never hit this many. Ooh, Shiny Star was amazing. Wow. Um. So, what do I have for Star You? Not much. So, let's go Mudbray on the Thunderbolt and try to Earthquake. Because Earthquake should 2 a KO. Um. But I don't know, he's just going to go for Psychic. I would have just went Hard Abra. Um, let's see if you're a choice or not, though, because that means I would outspeed with Abra. Okay, you're not. Good. So, Mudbray drops without actually getting a kill, but it does give me important information because now I can just Slud- or er, Shadow Ball and two hit KO, whatever comes in, basically. Um, I need to. <laughs> I need to try to find. How did you outspeed? Oh, it's a speed tie. Okay. I was gonna say, Abra's pretty fast. I'm kind of surprised, but I didn't know it was a speed tie. Um, so I think here is where I need to show my scarf, because I don't remember if I've actually shown that I'm scarfed Wingle. I think I just showed that I was a Wingle. Um, although, actually, I need to just side shock, because whatever he's gonna try to speed pass into needs to take a hit. And if I would have switched into Wingle there, he would have just protected again, and I wouldn't have outsped. Um, so he has to probably just stay in here. Whew. That's bad luck. That's that's a very bad luck turn. <laughs> um, I think he is able to kill with Mock Punch from here. I only have eight defense. Um, I'm pretty sure Timber's pretty fucking strong. Last I checked. Eh, maybe you can take this. Oh, you weren't Mock Punch anyway. Th this game, Abra just kind of wanted to seal it, apparently. I'll say sorry. I normally don't say sorry for a game, but with those many crits and all of them mattering, that kind of sucked. <laughs> um, it was a good game until then. Um, and that guy was pretty high on the ladder, so whoops. Um, we'll go ahead and grab one more, I think. Um, this will just be a longer episode, I guess. Um, but I'm kind of really feeling Little Cup right now, so... Be right back.
All right. Shiny Star you again is amazing. Shiny Pharaoh Seed's actually awesome too. I don't know, I kind of wish they would have kept that color scheme for uh, Shiny Ferrothorn, because it's way better in my opinion. Uh, no reason to not go Chin Chow. Um, if he leads me in Fu, I'll just double into Mudbray. Um, but Scald is pretty free here. Um, this is one of the main reasons I have Air Balloon, by the way, because obviously if I didn't, he would just be able to Earthquake the fuck out of me, and Chin Chow would drop. But because he has an Air Balloon, he's probably going to have to switch into Pharaoh Seed, I would guess. Um, potentially Staryu, um, but probably Pharaoh Seed. Um, Pharaoh Seed kind of seems like the only switch he actually has. Um, and I should actually, especially now that this is burned, should be able to just set up on this thing. So let's just go hard dearling. Go for an agility. Knock off my self scarf, that's sad. Um, but that's okay. I'll just go for agility. I'll just go for another agility, I guess. <laughs> um, counteract that para. Unless I just get paralyzed again, I guess. Um, so I don't actually really mind him setting up spikes because I can just defog if I need to. Um, I really want to get this agility off though, so please. Okay. Um, return should still be doing pretty decent damage because you're dark flying, not just pure dark. Yeah, it's still a 2 KO. Um, ooh. Weak armor? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, obviously was not expecting that. I'll give him props for it. Um, so he's at 32 speed probably. I think Chin Xiao should be able to take a hit, but I unfortunately do get my balloon popped, um, which is a little bit of an issue, um, but I should be able to kill um, with Thunderbolt because he's probably not Wow. <laughs> wow. That's the first time I have ever had someone come into a game after I left and <laughs> actually wished me a GG. Um, in case that guy in some universe ends up watching this video, I did not like those two crits either. Um, I felt like it was a well played game until then and I feel like he probably would have won if I didn't get that crit. The, at least the first one um, so it kind of sucks um, I think I actually need to go Chimchar here and all right so plan is to go Chimchar get up rocks as he goes star you I'm actually gonna go hard Mudbray on his rapid spin um, I don't really mind him um, <clears throat> knocking off a violet here because I'm not keeping Chimchar around for very long anyway um, but I basically want him to go for Rapid Spin as I go Mudbray and hopefully I'm able to Oko with something. <laughs> um, but this is kind of like my main form of spin blocking and I haven't actually gotten to show it off yet so I kind of wanted to. Um, so Earthquake should do a decent amount of damage still. Um, it's not really enough to actually matter, I guess. Um, I don't think I would have lived even if that didn't crit. Um, but that's okay. I should be able to... I don't actually really know how I win this game now, to be perfectly honest. I should be able to Shadow Ball and hopefully win the speed tie, because I think that's the way I win. Um, I'm not really sure what my win con is here. I guess it would be uh, Wingle, because it's the only thing that can actually take, like, any kind of speed. Um, I really wish everything wasn't berry juice, <laughs> but that's just Little Cup in general, I guess. Um, I can go Chimchar here and get rocks back up, or actually, I can go for Thunder Punch, which is probably a better play. Um, I'm going to go for Thunder Punch here, because he doesn't want to stay in with Pharaoh Seed against the Fire type, and if he does, then kudos to Shmateo. Also kudos to Shmateo, but he doesn't see that I have um, 
He actually doesn't see that I have Thunder Punch, so it ends up working out well for me. Um, I feel like I kind of have to go... <sighs> Alright, so plan here is actually to stay in and Fire Punch, as weird as it sounds. Because I feel like he's just going to Earthquake. But I can't risk him Rock Sliding and killing Wingle. Um, if he goes for Stealth Rocks or Earthquake, I'm going to feel dumb for staying in. Um, but it ends up working out, I guess, okay? Because that was... Why is everything on his team weak armor? <laughs> um, I was going to say I was going to be able to outspeed and take care of things, but now that he's weak armor, I don't think I do. Um, unless Wingle can somehow take a hit, which I don't really think it can. Um, I'm not going to let... Or I'm not going to hit this thing again, though, because I'm not trying to give it any more of a speed boost. Uh, that very well could be GG, like, unless he misses a rock slide or something, which would kind of suck horribly. Um, but he just has rock blast. All right, that's GG. Um, I don't really want to end on a forfeit, so I'm going to find one more. I know I said the, the last one was going to be the last one, but I lied. It's Draptor again. <laughs> All right. I'm perfectly fine with that, I guess. Um, he's probably going to win the last one. He's probably going to win this one. But I think this is the first time I've ever rematched someone on a live. Um, again, there's no reason not to Volt Switch. Um, I'm actually probably going to go Hard Deerling here because I feel like he's going to Spore now that I know his team. <laughs> he could be a man and predict and go for Sludge Bomb, but... I got that Sap Zipper though. I'm just gonna go return. Sludge Bomb's gonna kill, but whatever. Crit for crat, I guess. Um, luckily, we could play fast because we don't really have to think because we're already done this game before. Uh, I'll go for Shadow Ball because it's a safe neutral play. Um, it still is resisted, I guess, on this, but. Do you have Pursuit? You probably have Pursuit. I just got Pursuit trapped, but that's okay. Yep. Um, I'll go Mudbray here. Go for... I'm going to go for Earthquake, even though that's predictable. Because I think I Heavy Slam last time and just O-Code Ghastly, so I feel like he's not going to go Ghastly. Um, he could very well just go Star You, I guess. Um, but I can just go Chin Chow if he goes Star You. And Earthquake covers everything else, I believe. It should kill Fungus even after it switches in. Um, I guess he could pivot into Fungus, potentially take a hit and switch out, but it is neutral, and Mudbray has pretty decent attack, so I doubt he's doing that. Um, I know he's thinking really hard about if I'm just going to Heavy Slam again. Um, I feel like I probably could, and Grimer would take a lot of damage, but I frankly do not want this Grimer to do any more damage to my team. Um, if he switches out here, then he probably wins <laughs> in turn 5, um, but that's okay. I'm not going to turn the timer on him, just out of respect since I've actually seen him um, enough tonight to not slap him with a timer, but uh, he is thinking about this play for a while. And granted, this is a pretty big play, because um, I could potentially just Oko whatever switches in or stays in. Um, he's not going to Shadow Sneak, obviously, because he doesn't want to just give me a kind of free boost. The only reason he would Shadow Sneak is potentially to get a Poison Touch. Um, poison. Um, but I doubt that he's going to do that, because that wouldn't really make very much sense. Um... With how long he's taking, it seems like he's probably going to switch out. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and stay in anyway. Just to keep it safe. Um, but if he... <laughs> Please don't make me turn the timer on, dude. I was trying to be nice. Okay, so he does just go timber. Um... I, I'm just gonna Earthquake again. He's gonna go Ghastly this time, but that's okay. Um, 
It would have been funny to be a bluff set and have taken off my choice scarf in between games, but I obviously did not do that because I wasn't expecting to run into the same guy twice. Um, the main problem with Little Cup, I guess, is that there's not really a whole lot of people that play it, so if this live has been interesting to you, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, it's a little hard to find games sometimes, um, so just kind of uh, take your time with it, I guess, if it doesn't work out. Uh, I think I just lose to this thing being life orb. I'll go for a fire punch in case he doesn't kill me off, but... Um, I think Rock Slide is actually a pretty safe play overall. Because I'm pretty sure Rock Slide should still kill Ghastly. It's gonna do a lot of damage to this. It's gonna do... it's probably still gonna 2-hit KO it from that range. Um, it's probably not gonna do a ton to Alolan Grimer, but that's okay. I would imagine this still 2-hit KOs. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, timber's a little bit bulkier than I thought then. Um, oh man, is this guy gonna 6 0 me in our rematch? Because if so, that's gonna be a little embarrassing. Um, I think he's gonna 6 0 me though. I would like to not get 6 0 would Dear Wingle, I know you have landed a shit ton of hurricanes this game. Or this live, but if you could just land one more, I will be fine. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think that this was a much overall stronger team than mine. Um, which is fun. Um, he definitely is using good stuff. Um, I definitely thought about. I actually had Ghastly on this team originally over something. I think over Chimchar, but I needed a Stealth Rocker to be able to break through um, Sturdy and stuff. Um, I kind of wish this guy wasn't uh, taking his time as much as he was, but again, out of being nice, and since this is probably going to be the last battle with this one anyway. Um, I don't really see a way I come back in this unless I land this. I I don't know if I've actually missed a hurricane yet, which is kind of dumb, actually. Um, like, it is a 70% accurate move, and it seems to just kind of be hitting a lot more <laughs> than it should be. Um, so, does he knock off here? He might knock off here. But he could Pursuit here, too, since that's literally the only move he's shown this game. Um, I think Sacking Chinchou is probably a better play. No, because it just invites Fungus back in and then lets it heal up more. Go for Hurricane. I missed, but that's okay. I was bound to miss at some point. He does go for the knockoff, so it would have been better to just go Chinchou. Uh, that's probably the entire game. Um, like I think the only thing I can, yeah, cause I can't, Staryu hasn't come in at all, so I can't kill. Um, well, it's basically the 50-50 of does he switch into Ghastly or not here. Um, and I'm gonna say yes. This time. He has more things that take damage from Earthquake than don't take damage from Earthquake. Um, the safe middle ground, I guess, would just be to go Fungus here. Um, he could risk that the Star U Earthquake from last game wasn't going to be a 2-hit KO, but since it's like 46%, I feel like it might have actually been a 2-hit KO. Um, and I don't think he's scarfed on anything. He does stay in, so that's a good game. I'm just going to forfeit, because uh, without the Scarf, there's nothing I can do. Um, like he said, GG, yo, which is nice. So I really don't, <laughs> like, as annoying as it is to keep going with this, but I really don't want to end on a loss after, like, actually having decent wins, because then that sort of makes me just feel like I was only winning because I was on the lower end of the ladder. Um, 
fingers crossed that I don't run into him again. <laughs> like, I, I like him as a person, but I would like to see a different team before ending this. Um, so I'll be right back, I guess. Alright, ending with a new team, at least, and a new opponent, which is nice. Um, again, Ghastly, rest in peace this team. <laughs> um, it's kind of one of the benefits of having a pure normal type on this team instead of a normal grass, but I gotta just be honest and say I've kind of fallen in love with Deerling over um, testing this team out. So he doesn't have a Volt Switch immunity. So there's not really a reason not to lead Volt Switch. Um, very well could be Scarfed U-Turn, but whatever. Sorry, finishing off my bag of chips really quick, which is super professional to do in the middle of a video, <laughs> but whatever. Um, so he Volt Switches straight into Timber, which means that I have free reign to go into Abra, pretty much. Um, so I'm gonna predict, it's really hard to predict an opponent I've never played before, but if I were my opponent, I would try to double really, really hard into Pawn Yard right now, um, cause Shadow Ball pretty much <coughs> destroys the rest of this team so let's be aggressive and go mudbray because i don't think he's staying with timber why would you stay in with timber jesus christ i don't understand people sometimes um but whatever I'm just earthquake Like, I, I don't know why you would have stayed in against that, like, I, and you're not Scarfed. <laughs> you're obviously not Scarfed, because you... Okay. Like, I guess the only reason he wouldn't have done that is if he was Pursuit, um... What's-his-face Pawnyard, but I just don't know why you wouldn't have gone... I'm mad at that play. <laughs> I try not to be mad at opponent's plays because obviously everyone plays this game differently or whatever, but I'm mad at that one. Um, he, like, even if he would have stayed in and mock punched, I could have understood, because at least then he would have been breaking the focus dash, but he had literally no reason to stay in and knock off. Um, that was just basically asking to die, and he should have died, but because I overestimated what he was gonna do, I died instead. Um, so Pursuit's pretty obvious, so I'm just gonna stay in a Dazzling Gleam and potentially break a Sash. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> Apparently I just think this guy's gonna go for a lot more than he actually is gonna go for, so let's just go ahead and Fire Punch and keep it simple. should still do a lot to Ghastly. It just drops Ghastly. I don't know why people keep switching in Ghastly as, it's, as if it's a switch into things, um, but it is not a switch into things. So I could get a uh, Water Absorb here. Yep. Um, and again, I can just Volt Switch because there's no reason not to. Um, did I outspeed before? Oh, he switched out. Um, let's see if I outspeed. I could set up rocks, <clears throat> which might actually not be... I think I'd just lose to this dwebble, actually, now that I think about it. Um, 
so I haven't really been playing with that in mind. Um, but let's just fire punch. I should have just set up rocks, damn it. I was really torn between setting up rocks there on the sucker punch and just going for a fire punch, but I thought he could have potentially been faster than he actually was. Um, so now I have to fire punch and just do damage on this thing. I should have got rocks because that killed me right there. Um, I think that's game, so I'm unfortunately just going to have to lose this live with like three straight losses, which is kind of demeaning. Um, but we did well for a while with this team, so I got to kind of keep that in mind. Um, I was going to say, unless he missed his rock blast there, or unless I can somehow kill with Deerling here. But I think he just sweeps with Webble because Sturdy Berry Juice is busted. He can just X scissor here, actually. He doesn't even need to go for anything crazy. Unless he doesn't have X scissor, but it doesn't matter because Rock Blast is going to kill. Pretty sure Rock Blast is 2 to 5, but I guess it didn't really matter because he only had to hit like 1. <sighs> Alright. Well, um, I may. <laughs> or may not end up editing out a decent portion of this ending. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna try to get one more game in. Um, try to end on a win. If I ended up editing out those past three battles that kind of just ended demeaningly in losses, um, sorry, I didn't really think they were as entertaining of games as the first part of the live. Um, if I did end up editing it out, um, I ended up facing uh, that guy that came to say GG to me in that one game <laughs> again, which is kind of funny. Um, so, interesting team, but I'm noticing the second I get up to like the 12 and 1300s, every single team has a Ghastly Abra and Pontiard on it. So, <laughs> apparently I was just on lower ladder where people were trying stuff out a little bit more. Um, so, <laughs> I don't really have anything to lead against Snivy except Chimchar, so I think I have to lead Chimchar on the sole basis that if he leads Snivy and gets to plus two right away, I think I lose. Which is definitely how you want to build teams. Um, hmm. Do I just fire punch you? No, because I just said I needed you for Snivy. Um, I think I just go Deerling. I can go Deerling and Agility, actually. So I don't really think there's anything he can do to me. Yeah. I'll well, just go Deerling and Agility, see what happens. Because I can jump kick and potentially kill this thing. I guess the Leaf has a lot of defense, so potentially not. I don't know why everything in the world... I don't know why this thing gets Sludge Bomb, but whatever. Oh, I'm back on the ladder where people are playing with citrus berry instead of berry juice. I guess I should actually um, ask. Because maybe he doesn't know. Um, maybe he's a newer um, ladder player. And as a more experienced ladder player, it's nice to help out sometimes. Um, Heavy Slam's a nice neutral play here. So, nice neutral play for the win, I guess. Um, he still probably doesn't actually know I'm Scarfed, so he could potentially... Oh, he's just going Snivy now. Okay, so this is already happening. Oh god. Um, so I can go Chimchar, I guess, sack it off, and then go Wingle. Oh, Glare, okay. I guess it's a good thing I did not go Wingle right away. Please hit. Please get a low roll. Got a low roll. Do I hit? Yes. And I get a burn, which doesn't really matter. Um, I guess it limits the longevity of this. Um, I'll go for a fire punch in case he misses Leaf Storm. Or decides to synthesis. I don't know if I would have synthesis, but whatever. <laughs> um, so Timber comes in and probably just mock punches here, I would guess, 
to kill me off. Um, do I go Bud Bray and get the plus one? No, because I can't kill and return. I guess I'll just keep fire punching. Oh, nope, I'll just be paralyzed on the turn that he sets up. Um, so, I... N this is a problem, actually. Um, I think that I need to just stay in and fire punch and hope that he kills me off here. Okay, he does. Because um, I should potentially... Okay, I'm actually going to bait another mock Punch here, and then go Mudbray and get the plus one, and then just go for damage here. I'm not entirely sure that um, Abra actually lives a plus one mock Punch. I'm fairly certain that it lives a regular one, but... Um, okay, so I live another mock Punch, and I am Choice Scarfed, and he does not know that. So I can go for Earthquake, do nothing, and then watch as he bulks up and makes it even harder for me to live. That's fun. Um, I get a lucky crit there, which is unfortunate. Um, definitely unfortunate, actually. If he's not Scarfed, I actually should be able to at least take him down a Sash here. That, that one did not matter. If he wasn't Sash, that Abra was dying every single day of the week. I don't know why he sent things out in this order um but that's okay i guess um i feel like i keep just saying i want to get one more game but um kind of just trying to fill up time right now um so i may potentially get another game and see what the other at least see what the next team's like um and then give it a shot from there since this thing's um, yeah, since this thing's life orb, it's over because I can just go mud break here and heavy slam. I live with rocks, fortunately. And it's a GG. Um, so let's try to find one more game. And if I don't like that team, I'll edit it out and just end the video here. Um,. <laughs> Um, I think that's gonna go ahead and end it as much <clears throat> as I really want to battle this guy again on stream I feel like playing him twice and alive is enough. So I will see you guys next time. Bye